Hello, hopefully I'm live. I'm just putting my glove on. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott, if you didn't know already. So let me know that I'm live and you can start chatting. You can see that I've got my sculpting uh, workspace up. Hello! <laughs> it's always great to see a, a stream of hellos. Hello everybody. Hello Tommy. Coron Corona K, Creeping Talon, Vertan Pernasea. It's Pernasane. Uh, can everybody hear me by the way? That's what I ought to start off with. Everybody hear me okay? Um, let me know that uh, that's going okay. There's no echo or hiss or anything like that. I've had issues with my mic, so it'd be nice to know if that's working well. Uh, hello to all these people. It's great. There's <laughs> We get to see the great artist at work. Thank you, Chris Stone. Uh, we'll see about that. Um, I, I don't often do things live, so this will be very interesting for me. Uh, I do occasionally, though. Uh, I can hear your words happening. Yes, that's good. Hi, loud and clear. That's good. Sounds perfect. Hey, I've actually got the sound right for a change. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Cool. It's really coming in now. Uh, everybody's... Uh, everybody's <laughs> Oh, this is great fun. Concurrent, oh, there's, there's lots of people here already. Uh, 75-ish. Ooh, 77. It's going all over the place. <laughs> it's very exciting. I absolutely love doing this. I don't know why I love doing this so much. Uh, maybe it's because I actually get to interact with people. Uh, when you're doing tutorial videos, you're just sort of sitting here talking to yourself pretty much, although you are pretending you're talking to people. But this is nice because I get instant feedback. Well, instant-ish. What am I making, Grant? Right, that's a good question. Uh, 2.81 because I don't want to jump ahead too far and I just kind of forgot to do the 2.82 <laughs> so it'll be 2.81 but there's enough tools in there to do a good job I would say um, now Sculpt January I was thinking day 10 of Sculpt January I haven't taken part yet um, but I thought well I'd just jump on in and do something because I thought to myself I haven't done anything live for a while so uh, let's have some fun and uh, sort of go live and I thought well I might as well do practice my sculpting if you don't mind me practicing on you guys, in a sense. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm just getting seeing all the comments. Um, and I thought I'd go with the theme of today, which is old. And I thought, well, I, I'm happy doing faces. I'm comfortable doing faces. So an old person is a nice, simple one for me to do. And then I can just talk through the process, uh, if you're happy for me to do that, and chat to you at the same time whilst doing that. Yeah, I, I did this sphere myself. What do you think? It's, it's pretty decent, isn't it? Uh, it's uh, perfectly round. Can I see that on the screen? I'm just making sure it's all working. Someone says nice sphere, you see. Uh, thank you, Outmind01. Uh, will you post this stream after it ends? Yes, I always um, upload it onto my channel. Uh, your practices are practice, Grant. That's interesting. <laughs> practice on my, us, man, all over us. <laughs> um, I will love you, Grant. That's, it's just it's lovely to get all this. Light. It really is. I think this is why I'm slightly addicted to doing these sort of live broadcasts because everybody's so nice and so positive. So thank you very much. And yeah, this uh, wonderful sphere that we've got ready here. So I've got my pen in hand and we're ready to go. I'm just sort of checking that everything's working all right. Um, I've, it's, I, I've set up my, I've set up my setup. Um, my setup is slightly different to normal uh, because I'm doing the streaming and trying to look at the screen. So I've moved my camera and everything. So you can see my weird sort of lights in the background and things, but hopefully that's not too much of a problem. Although I do look a bit grayed out how is is this going to help it in any way or is this going to make it worse uh, let's see i haven't got obs up hold on one second you're the man ground love it uh can you sculpt a greek god style model uh eventually uh, i'll i'll be doing more sculpting as we go along um, oh the lighting's much better there i think isn't it um but uh today it will be an old man i think we're going with the theme of sculpt january so it's um uh so it's uh, old is the theme. So I was thinking old man. I've got uh, reference images up in front of me. Always have reference images. That's the first lesson of today. And I'm sure you don't really need saying. But when you're sculpting and things, here we go. Um, so I went onto the internet and grabbed this bunch here. So I'll go through them a little bit. Uh, so we've got just an old man. Uh, old man uh, is nice. Uh, I make an old cowboy. Maybe. I was thinking caricature because I quite like um, the expressions you get with caricatures. Um, what are you making? Like the old-fashioned models, uh, you had like the scenes 
with the well. Yeah, the, the well's quite a fun one, and that was um, inspired by lots of sort of different references. Um, I can't really take credit for that, really, because um, lots of different people did that, and I, um, like I say, took it from references. <coughs> Excuse me, I hope that didn't hurt anybody's ears. Uh, let's just see what people are saying. Um, could you make a video of your workflow in Unity to make things look great on mobile? I personally haven't done any work in Unity like that. Um, I pass the models on and someone else does that. But maybe, uh, would people like to see Unity videos in the future? Because I do know a bit of Unity. Um, I'm not particularly good at coding, uh, but I can show you the ins and outs of Unity if you are interested. So let me know if you are. Anyway, yeah, so this uh, mood board, uh, so we've got some interesting pieces, and they're just at random, so I'm sorry if I'm not um, referencing where they came from, but this is pretty much just typing old man character into Pinterest, and you'll get lots of these lovely things. Uh, you'll recognize a few. There's uh, Stanley, uh, and there's the guy from Up, who <laughs> you'll probably recognize. The other ones are just sort of general sort of characters and some photos and things as well, so uh, you can sort of see what I'm up to there. I have a question about time management. I have too much tutorials uh, hot. I have too much tutorials hot to sculpt. How to understand UV, how to use and create PBR textures, etc. What do I need basically? Um, it's really tricky that because uh, you need all of them <laughs> in a sense. It's very tough, isn't it? Uh, because when you, you're first new to 3D, you look at it and you think, well, where on earth do I start? Start uh, simple. Uh, and start easy. So start with things like low um, poly. I mean, if you want to be a sculptor, then you can start in the sculpting workspace and work out those things. But uh, then you'll need to learn the whole painting uh, workflow. So just uh, have fun. That's the main thing. Don't get uh, stressed about uh, not knowing stuff because it just comes. And every time you do it, it's like what I'm doing now. That's why I keep doing the streaming because I know that um, I need to move on as a tutorial creator and maybe some live streaming, and it's fun as well. Um, but um, to challenge yourself a little bit each day. And uh, Like I've got the sound right now. That was a, a learning curve. And uh, slowly getting there with things like these programs called OBS and, uh, and YouTube even, and the complicated stuff there. So um, yes, uh, don't panic about all the things you don't know. Uh, start focusing on the things you do know and developing. Uh, that's my thought for the day. Right, let's uh, get the references off the screen. Uh, this is uh, pure ref, by the way. So uh, pure ref, if I press Control F there, um, it gives you a full screen and it overtakes everything else. Um, but it's really um, handy because you can just sort of drag and drop things onto um, pure ref. Um, uh, so lots of different images, and then it sort of builds up this nice canvas. Um, so that's quite handy. You might want to use that. Um, what am I doing? I'm dragging pure ref over to here, aren't I? There we go. Let's uh, grab, grab that. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, what what am I doing? I'm, we're, I'm, I'm losing my head here. <laughs> I was forgetting the keyboard, um, the mouse command to move this. Uh, what was up with me? I might be a little bit tired. Hopefully I'm not too tired because I've cut down my days of teaching uh, and usually I'll be working on a Friday and I'm not today. I was at home today doing lots of admin, admin type tasks. So um, it, it was, which is good, catching up, but I've got to get onto my website next and sort of update that I think as well. So there's lots for me to do. Anyway, um, uh, let's see, uh, Pure Ref. Yes, it's a, pr a free program and you can download it and it, you can then place your reference images onto it. Um, da -da -da, let's just quickly look through. Um, a lot of Unity tutorials cover the standard rigging and animation. However, things like setting up things like cloaks and wires, uh, clo yeah, that's true, isn't it? You, yeah. That would be useful to know. Um, I would have to do some research there as well because I don't. There's, those are the sort of in, ins and outs that I don't know. Um, I know uh, sort of how to make things look fairly nice in Unity. Uh, can kind of do that and doing sort of um, environments and stuff like that. But um, uh, there's there's plenty of plenty to do for me uh, as well in Unity. Um, uh, I'm just having a look at through some of the questions uh, before I start sculpting. Uh, but I, I'm probably aware that uh, most people will want to see me sculpt at some point, <laughs> so I mustn't get too caught up. That's that's something I'm going to have to learn as well, is uh, when to respond to questions and when to um, start the sculpting. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I've, I've had uh, the, I think it was flu, it was, it was pretty nasty. I was in bed for uh, three days, uh, knocked out completely, and um, 
I'm still struggling. I've got a sinus infection afterwards as well, which is a bit annoying. Um, and you haven't missed anything Unleashed 75. I haven't started yet, so I'm about to. So we are in Blender 2.81. Uh, yeah, 7 p.m. Uh, just past 7 p.m. So 7 p.m. in Scotland as well. Uh, Hattie uh, Laird, is that how you pronounce your second name? <laughs> anyway, uh, right, so let's uh, move this about. Um, always when you start sculpting, <clears throat> Don't go too high poly to start with. So um, I tend to have Dyn Topo turned on, so let's turn it on over there. And uh, let's go to my tool settings up the top here. I'll tell you what, I need to set, put my screencast keys on, don't I? So I've pressed N on my keyboard to get this panel up. And there's the shortcut keys there. <coughs> oh dear, I should have brought a drink with me. Um, and uh, this is from JNM, and he's just updated these shortcut keys. I haven't downloaded the most recent update, but do look at JNM's channel. <coughs> Oh dear, that's not helpful, is it? Uh, he does some excellent stuff. So hopefully when I press things on here, oh, if I start playing them, there's the F key and yeah, it's all working. So I'll get rid of that. I'll pull out the brushes as well so you can see the names of them. That's often quite helpful, I find. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Tiny Dreams, uh, for your donation. Uh, I don't, don't come in on here for donations, but I really do appreciate them uh, when they happen. That's really kind. Uh, thank you ever so much. Uh, can't stay long but I'm already getting hyped to watch this later. Uh, hope you all have a fun and productive time. Thank you again, Tiny Dreams. Now that is the only thing, isn't it? Setting up the time, isn't it? Uh, which time to do. And I probably should uh, um, vary these uh, these times so other people can sort of watch and have fun as well. Anyway, uh, so um, yeah, where was I? Dying Topo, this is gonna be tricky, isn't it? Because I'm so interested in chatting to everybody as well as trying to do a sculpt at the same time. Is this ever going to happen with this sculpt? I bet people are probably thinking, what are you playing at? Okay, so there's Dyn Topper and you've got detail size. So hopefully you understand these sort of things. There's relative detail and constant detail. Uh, that's uh, I tend to stick with constant detail. I just find it a bit easier uh, to know exactly because relative detail is when you zoom in and out, it will change the detail level. And this is obviously the detail level, the amount of polygons it's adding to your um, shape the um, the faces is what I'm trying to say. Um, God, there's just uh, so so many people asking questions. Uh, I'll I'll tell you what I'm going to do a few minutes and then I'll come to the questions. That's probably the best way. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I'll tell you when I'm coming onto the questions in a second. It's nice to see everybody and hear from everybody as well though. Um, that's the that's the bit I love the most. Um, okay, so where are we? Uh, Dine Topo, and at the mo moment I've got resolution 3, so if I press on my shape, it's going to give me this horrendously low resolution. Um, so I would suggest something like 30, and I, I probably should say I went File, New, uh, Sculpting, and it came up with this round ball. So I'm in the sculpting mode. It only gives you shading and sculpting. I do like to have layout available as well, so it's back to sculpting there. So I've got 30, and if I press on my sphere now, let's go to wireframe quickly so you can see that. If I, I'm drawing away, and it's offering very little in terms of adding faces or taking away. So it's about 30 in terms of resolution for constant detail, that sphere. So we know that's a good starting point. I can actually go a tiny bit lower. I'm going to go to 20. Okay. Thank you. Love your voice. I love it. Uh, screencast is behind you. Oh, that's, thank you. What an idiot I am. I'm glad, I'm glad I noticed that. What a silly point. Uh, right. Let's get that on the left, shall we? Yay. <laughs> Right, can you see? Oh, now it's behind there. Let's get it in the middle. Oh no. Oh, now it's crashed. Right, let's try that. Now I've killed it, haven't I? Oh, I can't believe that. I haven't actually done anything, so I could just um, stop screencast, start screencast. Get yes, there we go. See, I'm like, hacker man, I fixed it. <laughs> okay, let's go back to solid mode. And, um, yep, solid mode there. Uh, this is using a matte cap, um, or matte cap, matte cap, I don't remember how you pronounce that. So matte cap it is, yeah, and you can change your matte caps in here. I prefer this one personally, it's got a pinkish tone. I like it. Uh, other people don't, but I like it. Uh, have I had any issues with 2.8? Um, no, I haven't at the moment. I haven't done a lot of sculpting though, but I, I, I did a fairly big sculpt the other day. I was quite proud of it actually. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. But it was for Atlas Empires, but it didn't quite capture the character. Uh, and Chris uh, Handler, so he's a superb artist, and he was asking me to sculpt the concept art. But I just couldn't get it as good as the concept art looked, so I'm not sure it's going to get used. But I did enjoy doing it, and it was nice to get back into it, which kind of made me think, oh, I must do some sculpting today. 
Ah, uh, yeah, what graphics tablet am I using? I am using the Wacom Mobile Studio Pro. Um, I think there's a link to that in the description. It's an affiliated link. So if you buy one of those, I'll get some commission for that, I'll tell you. It's very expensive, to be fair. I am testing one soon. Hold on. It's an Art is Soul. So Art is Soul. Art is Soul um, brand, which I've never heard of before. Um, so that would be interesting. And yeah, sorry, come on, star. <laughs> Uh, this is 16 inch, uh, that one's actually something like 22 inch or something, so um, I assume you were talking about the graphics tablet. Wait! Oh dear, <laughs> started already. I go a bit crazy sometimes when I'm doing these sort of things. Okay, let's uh, start pulling out the shape. So um, I don't start with draw, I start with grab. And in fact, I start with the snake hook because uh, that um, edits your topology as well. So let's uh, see where I am in terms of my mirror. I've got mirror turned on, so down here you've got symmetry and mirror. So let's pull them about. And let's get the shape of a head. And I, I just sort of roughly eyeball this. I mean, I could um, bring in uh, a cylinder down here and then attach it. That's much easier now, isn't it, with 2.8. Maybe I should do that just for a bit of experimentation. Layout. Let's go to Layout. Let's Shift A, add a cylinder. Um, okay, there. Scale it down a bit. And let's go to Side View. I've got it. Um, my keyboard's around the corner of my screen. I've not got a good setup here. But uh, let's move that into position and for a neck, uh, scale it up to about somewhere like there. And this is going to be... Uh, so nowadays you can. This is just absolutely brilliant how they've changed this and um, Pablo is doing all the sculpt stuff. Uh, so if I shift, uh, click and press control J and join them together and then go to sculpt mode and then press remesh. Uh, is point 0.3 going to be all right? Point... Uh, what was that? Point 0.1 I think I need to go to. Point 0.1, remesh. Ah, oh, and then look, look, it's booleaned it as well. That's just flipping amazing. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll probably do some texturing tutorials in the future, certainly. Um, right, let's uh, start sculpting this guy around. So just with the snake hook tool still. And it's fairly low topology, low topology, low detail. Oh, need to turn him back on though. I'm actually going to go down to 10, see what that, yep. Yeah. I think 10 is good enough, especially when you're doing the initial stages. You want a really um, low um, resolution um, to work with. In fact, let's give him a bit of a shoulders. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at this. Can you guess what it is yet? That's a Rolf Harris impression. Probably shouldn't do Rolf Harris impression, should we? Um, <laughs> oh, dear. Let's not try and be funny. Uh, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Um, <clears throat> Uh, what do I think is more powerful, constant detail or relative detail? Uh, it depends what you're doing. I, t I find relative detail is really helpful, but I prefer working in constant detail because it's uh, easier to know what you're adding and what you're taking away. Uh, because there's an option under relative detail, um, which is subdivide collapse, and then there's, uh, which means if I zoom out and start painting, it would be a lower quality and I'd lose any detail. You can then change that to subdivide edges i think um that uh, then it will keep all your topology hopefully i'm not uh, i'm rushing these things a little bit so um maybe i'll come to that a bit later on so we're just doing this sort of head shape at the moment and um, what i like to do I, I, can you probably hear me tapping the screen i don't go whoop like this i tap it into position uh that's just the way i prefer to sculpt and that's what i've found helps me um over time uh, right, so you can see I've got a very, very rough head shape, but I'm still keeping that quality detail as it is. So just making sure that everything's in the right position. Um, uh, perhaps consider having some of your Discord admins, uh, however, you, to aggregate some of the questions that pop up on the screen that you could answer. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? It would take organization, which I'm particularly bad at, and that's the actual problem, is um, I just tend to go for it with these things and uh, then I'm not organized and ready for that sort of uh, commitment. <laughs> uh, just watched the dinosaur process today. Yeah, I've got lots of videos on the sculpting. The dinosaur process is probably the uh, most recent because it's 2.8 and it talks through the whole process of sculpting. Um, so obviously the chin is going to go up here um, and into here. I've got to think, I'm doing a caricature, aren't I? So um, what uh, sort of style should I be doing? I've sort of got the general head shape at the moment. It's a bit too big at the jaw there. And needs to go back a bit more. There we go. But you can see, really, I, 
I still need uh, to look every now and again at um, uh, to, uh, to, uh, topology, uh, anatomy, <laughs> uh, to get these things uh, right myself. Because although I've been doing this for quite a few years now, really, still haven't got the skill level that some people do when they do these things. It's just incredible. I was curious about that. It looks like uh, small strokes, almost sketching. Thanks for clarifying. Ah, yeah, yeah. So that's uh, that my tapping away style that I have. Um, it may may just be me, but that's how I've sort of got. Uh, that's how I've sort of come to my sculpting style. Anyway, I'm sort of um, just messing around at the moment with some uh, styles. So does he have? Will he have a big chin? A small chin? Vote for big chin or small chin on the <laughs> on the chat. This is quite fun, really. Um, I was curious. Uh, da -da -da, something. I challenge you to make is a mut mutated, I think you mean mutated human, which doesn't any media or zombie. I think there's spell checker happening there. <laughs> it's gone a weird. Uh, alien like big forehead, large eyes, small chin. <laughs> Do you use roll viewport? I don't even know what roll viewport is actually. Um, so let me know. Uh, strong cheeks on that old cowboy yeah i think maybe we'll go for an old cowboy there that's uh is that uh, i can't remember whether that was you who said about cowboy earlier oh are we gonna do ears we're gonna have to do ears aren't we otherwise people will get annoyed at me uh, the way i do ears uh is just draw an ear like that you know and then i'll sort it out later as they were <laughs> but we need to know where it's going so it's roughly i think in the middle of the head isn't it god you think i'd know that by now so i've got a, a very rough ear there and just dig those in, dig the chin in around there. So the chin, obviously, you've got a line just there if I'm on camera. Uh, so you've got a line coming down there and across. So you have that. Oh, if I dig in. Uh, control to dig in, of course. Let's get some muscles going on here. Muscle coming down there. Although we don't want too muscly because he's old. And you tend to sort of... Well, it's, it, I've seen some very old people who are very muscly. And that's I always think that's an inspiration. That's just fantastic. Notice I've gone across the draw brush now. Probably a little bit earlier, really. Um, what sort of expression is he going to have? Is he um, tired? Uh, is he sort of, hmm? Well, I don't know what that expression is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, little Wolf's message has uh, been uh, hidden because it says uh, a cock of tobacco in his cheek. Is that what it's called? I didn't realise that. Um, I could do that, yep. Yeah. Uh, maybe you need some sort of did the um, cowboys a sort of straw coming out? I don't know. They, maybe a big cigar even. I'm a sort of anti-smoker though, so um, uh, we can't have cigars, can we? Uh, do you prefer cartoonish modelling or realistic? I like both really. Um, grumpy, it seems. Grumpy is the um, is confused. Uh, he's smoking a joint. No, he won't be doing that, will he? <laughs> um, Huey on tablet with mo no screen. Yeah, you don't have to have a display tablet. It does speed up your workflow. I've got to say. Um, it it makes it so much easier that I can see where my where my hand is, uh, and I'm not sort of looking up and down every now and again, or or moving your arm around that sort of feeling when I'm sort of doing tiny bits and things. So it, it really helps to have a display tablet. So if you are serious about sculpting, then uh, go for it with a display tablet. <coughs> Puking, a get off my yard expression. Okay, uh, we could do that. So that's a grumpy expression to be. A happy, relaxed, pipe-smoking old man. I was kind of thinking that. In fact, we've got that in the reference images. Uh, so let's uh, let's just uh, see what sort of style. Because we've got this old man here. He's got a very square head. What well, they said about, um, didn't they? And uh, I can't remember where I saw it, but uh, square is supposed to be sort of uh, comfortable. We sort of trusting. So a square head, uh, and they went for their old man with um, up to have a square head. Um, there's that's sort of a weird old man. That one, isn't it? That's sort of a grumpy old man there. There's a cool old man there, <laughs> Stanley. Uh, so, yeah, um, I love this one. That's a very confused expression. It was a beautiful piece of work. There's a grumpy one. A big chin as well, grumpy one. Maybe we go for this sort of style, that sort of cowboy-esque. Probably something like that, I think. Right, let's move this across again. <coughs> uh, basically going for Clint Eastwood. Yes, yes, that's what I need, isn't it? Um, <laughs> old man with a square head. Has my trust indeed? <laughs> it's got all our trust in me. Uh, so um, I think uh, a fairly square jaw coming down here would be good. He's old, so he's going to have sort of thin-ish. Um, so you go a bit gaunt, don't you, when you're, you're older? Um, I would say. 
Um, hello boss. <laughs> Uh, to use any graphics tablet. This is a Wacom Studio Pro. I know some people are sort of joining us late, so they won't have heard me say that earlier. Uh, Wacom Studio Pro, it's, so it's a screen display tablet. Um, I did uh, contact Wacom today and say, can you send me one of those new Wacom tab tablet tablets that I've been hearing about? Uh, so it's only sort of $400 uh, for a Wacom display tablet, and you can plug it into your mobile phone. I thought, oh, that sounds pretty interesting. I'd like to try that out. Um, now, old people have big noses because apparently your nose and ears just keep on growing. So we've got to give him big ears and big nose. That will make him look old. We need that sort of gaunt look as well. He's sort of looking a little bit worried at the moment, sort of thin eyes there. Uh, maybe we'll come down there, a bit more relaxed. So the eyebrows, that this sort of bit is where you get your expressions from mainly, I would say. Uh, so we're sort of slightly getting there already. He doesn't look old yet, but hopefully we'll be able to uh, manage that. He's not looking particularly caricature. He, obviously, he's, he's exaggerated to a degree, isn't he? Uh, yeah, Wacom tablet for f uh, $400. It, it's crazy, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I think that might be a bit of a game changer, actually, in some ways, because all these Huey on people and everything like that, they're about $400. So uh, it's going to be uh, very interesting. A drunk grandpa. Uh, a, junk, a drunk chubby grandpa. That's an interesting one. Okay, can you see that I'm putting a dent in here? Uh, because if you feel your skull, and especially on older people, uh, they, you, you can feel there is actually a space in here. And if you look at skulls, that's sort of where your uh, bone, jawbone goes up and past this cheekbone here and underneath and round. Underneath and round. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, hopefully that's making sense. But you've got uh, a, a slight dent there. I remember someone saying, why on earth do you put dents in the side of their heads all the time? Uh, that's because we have a sort of slight dent there. <laughs> Uh, I do get that sometimes on my uh, comments. I do try wherever possible to respond to all the comments um, because um, it, it's uh, just uh, someone's taken the time to comment to me, so I want to comment back. Uh, do I take any course on sculpting? No, I haven't. Uh, this is just from doing it lots. So uh, you can get to this level, which isn't, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm an amazing level, but you can get to this level through self taught, I would say. Um, fifty dollar range tablets. Yeah, there's uh, XP Pen, Gammon, Hueon. Hueon's a bit more expensive than the other two, I'd say. Uh, is it UG? Um, yeah, those uh, you can find sort of low, um, low uh, cost ones. Hello, Frank. <laughs> My XP Pen is the dogs. Uh, have you used it yet, though, Frank? That's the thing. Uh, he said to me the other day that he hadn't used it, <laughs> hadn't got a chance yet. Um, Anyway, uh, lovely work. That's thank you very much. Uh, you're sculpting Picard. What do you say, Patrick Stewart? Uh, maybe. It looks a little bit like that, doesn't he? Yeah, it does a little bit. Uh, okay, let's uh, carry on and keep going. This is great fun. I, why do I love this so much? <laughs> what is it about it? I'm just sort of um, doing a bit of detail now. So on the draw, but I'm still at ten percent. This is really vital uh, that you keep this low uh, because. Uh, you can see you can get this sort of detail. You can get much more detail than this on a really low setting. When I come to do the lips, that's probably when I'll start um, upping it a bit more. I've no idea what I'm doing, really. I haven't really thought much about uh, in terms of what he's going to look like, and I'm just prattling around, really. Uh, the temple, yeah, the temple, uh, indeed. There, there's probably a cool name for it. Um, uh, who, who said that? Sorry. Uh, Little Wolf. Yeah, there's, there's probably a, a cool name for it somewhere. Or, um, uh, that I don't know, the, the such and such special bone or whatever it is. Um, <laughs> that's its official name, yeah. All right, let's uh, give him a bit more of a, a baby's bottom, we call that. I, I, I don't know whether you have uh, different names for it where you come from, but uh, baby's bottom, sort of. Uh, I don't know, that's, that was for when we were in primary school, that used to be said. Uh, retopology after the sculpting is the worst. Indeed it is. It's just a, such pain. I still avoid it as much as I can. In fact, that's where I went wrong with my recent sculpt uh, that I send off to, sent off to Atlas Empire uh, and said, oh, I've sort of finished. But I should have re, uh, retopologized and then I could have textured it properly because some of the texturing was out slightly because the topology was bad. If you get really thin lines, which you do with Decimate, uh, thin lines between objects, I'm not explaining myself very well, but basically... Do a proper retopo if you're doing a uh, uh, if you're texture painting and you want to go further than just the sculpting. Uh, if you want to be a graphic designer, is it necessary to have artistic background? 
Uh, y- yes, ish. Artistic background is very vague, though, isn't it? Um, I have an artistic background uh, because I did A level art, uh, but I suppose I did. Um, I tried to cater that A level art very much to what I liked, and it was drawing dragons and silly things like that. And obviously, that didn't go down very well with my. Oh, I'm changing the crease brush, by the way, uh, with my lecturers who thought uh, that they were a bit babyish, <laughs> and I ended up getting a very uh, low grade in the end. Um, I think, what did I get? An E. Uh, I did get meningitis <laughs> in the middle of my A-levels, uh, however, uh, which sort of uh, scuppered my plans a bit. But um, I was also very lazy as well. Uh, but I did love drawing dragons and fancy art and stuff. So um, <laughs> so uh, where was I? Uh, yeah, so um, I've only got an E at an AS level. That's like half an A-level. Uh, so it's a pretty poor grade. Um, but most of this has come afterwards uh, and just practice time and time. Uh, 10,000 hours, they say, don't they? I love that expression, 10,000 hours, because you just plod along, you keep going, and you will get better. Can you see how bad my anatomy is at the moment? This chin is way too low and the nose is too high. But this is the caricature style I'm going for. <laughs> yeah, that's why I love caricatures. Um, let's just. I'm, I'm still on the crease brush here now, and I'm just sort of. just. It's like I'm doing shading, it's like, uh, it's like sketching. Uh, and I'm just sort of shading bits out that should be dented in. I'm going to have to make this chin a bit thicker though. So back, excuse me, back to the draw brush. A bit thicker down here, a bit more rounded, I think. It's quite fun, isn't it? I just, I, there's just something about sculpting that I absolutely love. Uh, let's get that in there. There's uh, so if you look at your, <laughs> you can see it there. Uh, you've got that sort of dip there, and then you've got your collarbone there. And the muscles, can you feel those muscles going down there? They've really got like a hench neck I have, yes, very big neck. So you can see my big muscles. Uh, asked this before, yeah, sorry, I saw that actually, uh, Lost in the Sea. Uh, do you use Sketchfab? Yes, I do use Sketchfab. You can check out my Sketchfab if you like. Um, do I have the link in the description? I might have the link in this description. Sorry, I'm doing this really badly at the bottom here, but I'm just getting a rough idea. Oh, that's way too low, way too low. Uh, what am I doing? A snake hook, sorry. There's a few new brushes that I'm sort of not used to. It needs to be way up there, somewhere around there. Oh, that is dreadful. Um, I need my anatomy book there because I have to sort of remind myself of what that looks like a bit. Uh, but we're not really focused on the bust anyway, are we? Uh, there we go. Uh, I'll come to that later. <laughs> catch me, catch me doing that one later. Uh, right, let's get this in a bit. It looks, can you see if I do that it looks more sort of grumpy and old man-ish oh I love this option as well this sort of rake can you see I'm sort of twisting it and it rakes this is the rake down here but on one at the moment oh I love that that's great now it looks more old man-ish it's sort of like his nose is sort of popped out <laughs> popped out uh, but you know what I mean it's sort of that old man look he's looking a bit more yeah old man old man <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying it like that roll a uh, roll viewport it's like the ro- rotate the viewport ZBrush have that option, and recently I discovered uh, exists in Blender. You can roll with Shift Numpad 4 or Shift Numpad 6. What is that about? I'm slightly concerned. Uh, so Shift, it's not going to crash my program, and I'm going to disappoint. Whoa, there's loads of people watching. You'll disappoint lots of people. Uh, sh- sorry, Shift. Oh, I've lost this thread now. Where was I? Uh, ah, where's it gone? Ah, I've lost it. Oh, oh, there we go. Shift numpad four. Okay, right. I've got to actually get the shift numpad four. Oh, right. You mean roll? Yeah. Uh, so that uh, on the can. Uh, yeah. I, um, I've never use it. Um, but uh, I know what you mean now, and that's actually really useful. That I know the shortcut for that. Uh, thank you. Uh, that's quite cool. I don't think. I suppose you might use it if you had a. a that's the difference, isn't it? Sometimes if you've got a graphics tablet rather than a display tablet. And uh, you have to sort of sometimes the it's the direction you draw, and you always want to draw this way, don't you, or or towards you, in fact, uh, like this. Uh, and when you have to sort of draw up this way, you have to move your arm around to sort of get that action because you want that nice flowing action in your arm because it gives you a controlled stroke. And that's where having a display tablet, I can just do this because I can see where I haven't lost my orientation. But when you've got a a, a graphics tablet and you you can't look at it, you have to look at the screen and do this. You you lose it and that's why you 
in Photoshop, you've got R to rotate your canvas, and you see people rotating the canvas to so they can draw this way towards them. Uh, so I'm assuming you, that's the reason they have that in ZBrush as well. ZBrush. ZBrush. Everybody laughs at my ZBrush, don't you? Uh, yeah, Handycam would be cool. Uh, Handcam. Handcam. Oh, what, um, me looking over the shoulder. I did think about that. I need to get another webcam ready. This is a pretty poor webcam. I'm assuming we can put plug two webcams in. There's no reason why not. Wow, well, this is the most views I've ever had. So obviously this is a popular thing to do. Uh... Right, anyway, um, uh, right, let's be get back to my man. So is this time now to start thinking about upping the detail? Well, when you think that, do a bit more. <laughs> Just make absolutely sure you've got everything how you want it to be. Have a good look around your mesh. Uh, make sure it's all good. This is probably a bit too... There we go. I love that. Do you know, sculpting in 2.8. I had someone t today saying... Uh, uh, are you going to do any more 2.79 tutorials? And I was like, no, I, I, I want to keep up with the times. Uh, and then they said, well, I'll have to go somewhere else then. Uh, and, you know, I can understand them being disappointed, but you, uh, there's so many cool features in 2.8. It really is fantastic. I mean, look at this sculpting and, and this normal base sculpting. Can you see that? The brush, I know where it's pointing as I go around. How cool is that? It's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, Ah, oh, thank you. The pictures uh, as planes tutorial really helped. It's, it's nice. Yeah, uh, so is that pictures as planes? I'm trying to think what that was. <laughs> uh, what's the difference between relative and constant on Dine Topo? Yeah, it's difficult to explain um, without taking time. Let, um, I'll go into that in a bit, hopefully. Um, what, what's the time? Actually? Whoa, I've been 40 minutes already. I was thinking I'll, I'll probably take two hours on this, but... This is something that usually would take me about 20 minutes and it's taken me 40. So I've got to realize that this is going to be sort of double the time um, of 